Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. I'm really excited to be bringing in the messages for the week. We are going to see what's coming through for you in love and relationship this week. Do keep in mind Virgo, this is a general reading. So as always, just take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't. Should you feel that this feels like a personal reading for you, then be sure to show your support by either liking, sharing and subscribing here today. And whoever you are thinking of dealing with or connecting to in love is who sh we shall be reading for. Virgo, I've decided to start off using a Romance Angels Oracle card just to get an overall feel and vibe of what it is that you can expect this week in love, okay? So spirit angels and guides, what is the overall energy or the overall vibe or the overall message that Virgo can expect in love this week? Okay, first card coming through is give your relationship a chance. Okay, it says here work on your partnerships work on your partnerships and I want to say here Virgo that there could be someone here that you're being very hard on or it could be that someone that you're connecting to is being very hard on you now we know that relationships all relationships or all partnerships require work and if it's someone that you definitely feel is worth the effort or worth the work then it is asking for you to give this relationship a chance or to maybe this this may even speak to giving someone a second chance you know giving someone the benefit of the doubt or maybe someone giving you the benefit of the doubt depends which way the the pendulum swings right um, but it is a general reading here so I'm just going to let you determine or decide you know where this story fits or where you fit into this story um, but I, I definitely feel like someone might be giving you a second chance or you might be giving someone a second chance this week, okay? Um, and it's also about forgiveness too, you know, forgiving um, each other because we are human and we do tend to make mistakes. And I feel like some people, not all people, some people are good at heart. They really are good people at heart. It's just that we're human and we do make mistakes, you know. So it's recognizing that as well and being humble with that. So I'm going to pop that aside and we're going to see how that card ties in with the tarot cards that are coming through here today. This is going to be a six card tarot spread. And I am going to be working with uh, two different tarot decks here today, okay? First tarot deck is the Modern Witch Tarot. First card coming through is the Knight of Wands reversed. So this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So there you are, Virgo. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be connecting to another Earth sign as well, though. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Just grab the rest of the cards. So we're going to grab three more cards, Spirit, Angels and Guides. What messages do you have for our Virgos regarding love this week? If they come out reversed, I'm not taking reversals in this deck. We've got the Seven of Materials, which equals the Seven of uh, Pentacles. We have the Five of Voices, which is Five of Swords. Oops. And one more, we have the Page of Voices, which is the Page of Swords. So air, strong air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. All right, let's take a look at this. I feel like with the Page of Voices, you're definitely thinking about things this week. You're definitely thinking about what it is that maybe you're going to do. 
Uh, there could be someone here heavily thinking about you as well, Virgo. I do see here with the five of voices sitting directly underneath the eight of cups that, you know, someone was ultimately not happy and either an argument or a separation ensued. The eight of cups can suggest walking away. Okay, walking away, turning one's back. But I, I really love this five of voices because I'm seeing an olive branch being extended or just hanging above this couple. Can you see that? And this straight away speaks to giving someone a second chance or accepting someone's apology here or asking for forgiveness, whoever, you know, wherever you sit in this picture, uh, Virgo. It doesn't mean that we have to forgive and forget, but we do forgive and we learn. And the page of voices is all about learning, learning from each other, learning how to be become better. Um, so it is there is a lesson uh, to be had with this situation. I really do feel. I mean, this page of voices is also sitting directly underneath your energy. You are the queen of pentacles in reverse. I can see here that you're not happy. I can see that, Virgo, you're not happy. For some of you, you're thinking, why should I? Why should I give any more to this person? You know, I see right now that you may be in non-committal energy or you're not solid on a decision here. You're not sure of whether or not you should trust this person or uh, commit to this person or give your loyalty or your love to this person. Right now with the page of voices, you're doing your due, due diligence. You're doing your research. You're doing your homework. Okay. You're gathering information right now. You're deciding whether or not to give this person a second chance. But first, I see Virgo doing Virgo's homework. Okay, I feel with the Knight of Wands here, maybe this person has been very inconsistent with you because now the Knight of Wands is in reverse. Maybe this person just didn't show you enough interest or maybe they're acting disinterested at this time. Um, maybe this is someone who walked away from you, Virgo, and now you're like, why should I take them back? Just because now they feel like the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Or maybe this person walked away from the relationship because they just felt like something was missing from their life and they had to go in search or in pursuit of that only to recognize, hang on, hang on, I can't stop thinking about my Virgo, okay, page of voices, I can't stop thinking about my Virgo. So if there was someone that walked away in pursuit of something else or someone else, they couldn't stop thinking about you. The Eight of Cups can also speak to, you know what, I'm not really happy in this relationship. I'm not really happy with how things are unfolding right now. We're just not in alignment. Um, you know, this relationship, you know, is hot and cold. But it could be with the Eight of Cups that you are willing or you are thinking about, you know, leaving it in the past and understanding all relationships require work, like this card suggests. Recognizing or understanding with the page of voices that, yeah, you know, I, if I really want this, then I have to work on it. It's just how it is. And the seven of, Pent seven of pentacles, seven of materials, which is the seven of pentacles, is about rebuilding or building a connection because you already have something established here with this person. It's like, do we throw all of that away? Do we start all over again? Do I just turn my back on everything that I've worked so hard for or that I've built with this person, that I have with this person and just start again? And I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that, 
you know, forgiveness, apologies will be accepted. But you, you won't be rushing. You'll be taking your time with this, I feel. I feel like with the Page of Voices, like I said, Virgo, you will be taking your time. You're not going to jump into a decision really, really quickly, but you will be doing your research and you will be doing your homework. So there we have it, guys. That's your reading. Hopefully that resonated for you. I really do hope you got something out of this here today, Virgo. Don't forget to show your support by giving me a thumbs up. And until next time, take care.